we're gonna get a great What's up guys, how you doing? So, Kim Kardashian has okay. been violating the boycotts at Beverly Hills Hotel and Hotel Bel Air. Okay. Um, they're owned by the homophobic Sultan of Brunei. He passed a law in his country that allows gay people to be stoned to death. Okay. Um, she knew about the boycott. She moved her baby shower there a couple years ago. Okay. Um, away from Beverly Hills Hotel. Um, but since then, she's decided to change her mind and she's going there anyway. So we're trying to get her to do the right thing and stop uh, spending money at homophobic hotels. Okay. but. So, so Kim Kardashian supports homophobia. Her money yes. supports homophobia. Her money. Yeah. yeah, when she spends money at that hotel, it goes straight into the pocket of the Sultan of Brunei, who passed this law that allows gay people to be stoned to death. I mean, it's totally okay. brutal. Really so can awful. you give us a little bit of rundown how exactly her money is supporting homophobia? Yeah, so when she spends money at this hotel... And you know, what hotel is this? Hotel Bel Air and Look. Beverly Hills Hotel. Yeah. They're both owned by the Sultan of Brunei. Okay. Um, the whole Dorchester collection is... Um, so there's been an ongoing boycott, you know, a few years ago, Jay Leno, Ellen DeGeneres, a bunch of people right. who stepped out um, in support of the boycott. Um, but since then, people have been sort of slipping back and deciding that the McCarthy salad is more important than LGBT rights, you know. Okay. And so, uh, you know, we're trying to hold Kim Kardashian accountable for where she spends her money, as well as the whole Hollywood community. Okay. Um, you know, it's not just her, it's, it's everything. Is she aware of these issues? Yeah, so uh, a couple years ago, I believe in 2014, she moved her baby shower away from the Beverly Hills Hotel, okay. and then later came out with a statement that said she changed her mind. She doesn't think consumer boycotts are the best way to go about it. Um, but, you know, we're here to tell her that, uh, you know, Amanda here is a former Hotel Bel Air employee. Um, this boycott is endorsed by the employees of the hotel, um, and we're not going to rest until, you know, we see justice for the LGBT. Did you pick today uh, in particular because of the drop of her new makeup line? So we've actually been out here for a couple weeks, but definitely that's important. You know, she's okay. getting all this publicity for the makeup line going public today. And at the same time, you know, she's not being held accountable, um, you know, for where she spends her money. Okay. Even though she actually has a, a lot of gay friends and hangs out with them and stuff, you're saying it's not her directly that's homophobic, but it's... The it's where she's putting her money. Yeah, it's like we all have choices, right? You know, right. she may be friends with folks who are gay, but uh, uh, what's happening with that money is going straight to the Sultan of Brunei. Uh, he's passing these really draconian laws um, that are really, really anti-gay. I mean, they're totally brutal. Um, gay people can be stoned to death. I mean, imagine right. that, like, literally, like, And where stone. is this taking place? Uh, where is what taking place? Where is the stoning taking place? So it's in Brunei. Um, it's a country in uh, the Middle East, like near Malaysia. And, um, you know, the Sultan, he's, it's basically like the only, uh, well, they're involved in other things, but he owns the, the hotels outright. Okay. Do you think that the hotel should be shut down? Um, you know, I mean, we're not looking to have the hotel shut down, but I would like to see um, either the Sultan of Brunei, you know, selling the venue, um, or, you know, I mean, it could be a bunch of things. We don't want the hotels shut down, but right now, um, you know, this guy is not... You know, he's not doing the right thing by the LGBT community. You want them to change the laws in Brunei yeah, exactly. and change the way they treat people. Yeah. Do you ever think that will actually happen? So it such could. A... There's been, um, you know, when the boycott was really um, successful, I mean, people had sort of emptied out of those properties a couple years ago. Um, now, like I said, people have started to come back. Um, but since then, the... Uh, the law has been held up in court, so that has been a win. Um, but right now, it's on track to, you know, go forward. And so, you know, we've seen a couple. Of the um, there's a there's a LGBT Brunei rights group that just met with the Human Rights Coalition this week. In fact, so it's an ongoing issue. People are aware of it, but um, you know, I think that. We have a lot of power here in Hollywood. People have a lot of money, and they can make choices about where they spend that money. Right. Um, and right now, people are choosing you know, the, the fancy hotels over um, LGBT rights. Okay. I didn't know that, but yeah. now I do. Yeah. And you worked there. Yes. And did you experience this firsthand? This kind of anti-LGBT. You know, in 2009, the the Bel Air shut down. And uh, like at least 